recipe called the flatty. So it is basically like a sort of malty spongy cake with breadcrumbs on the with breadcrumbs on top to give it that extra little crunch. So uh, this will not only be a taste test video, you're also going to be able to see me make my own food. <laughs> Okay, so I will I will say this. I came up with this recipe exactly a year ago from now. So um, I don't remember the, how many grams of everything I need to use. I might not make it how I made it the first time or the second time, which was much better. Um, so do you take that with a grain of salt? I uh, I'll go over the ingredients. That, right, this is going to be an order of what you mix, so, butter, caster sugar, flour, and no, actually no, you put the eggs in, the flour, and the breadcrumbs, though, do take breadcrumbs with a pinch of salt, because when I first made it, it was breadcrumbs on the top, but we had those horrible digestive biscuits where there's no chocolate on the top, and um, instead of wasting them by eating them, we're wasting them by eating them like this. <laughs> so it's uh, it's not breadcrumbs, it's biscuit crumbs. Okay. okay, so the first step that you take here is you pour in the sugar. Don't use an extraordinary amount, I think I should put maybe a bit more in, but don't go overboard with the sugar for the cake batter because the sugar will also go over the top of the breadcrumbs when you are, when, well when you've actually laid them out, so right. I wish I had a light here, uh, we used to, but we don't now, so you're just going to have to watch me uh, bully this piece of butter until it's taken in all the sugar. This will become more liquidy as we get on. But what you want, what you want to try to do at first is just uh, make sure all the sugar goes into your butter. Okay, so after a few tries, I decided that kneading was the best option to use for this. So, um, what I did was, I got it in my hand, sort of went like that with it, and uh, it's come out as a doorbell. Don't take that out of context, I swear down. Anyway, um, next thing that we have to do is pour our flour. Stay off the camera. And so that's a reasonable amount. Mamma mia. So you get back to the same process, although it feels a hell of a lot drier now. Okay, so um, you've just missed a bit of exposition because the camera didn't turn on. Um, so basically what we're doing now... We've is... added eggs and flowers, flour into the bowl since the last one. Yeah. This will be poured out when it's become a bit more liquidy. And then we'll be baked for 10 minutes. Now I want you, when I remind you later, to go into the comments and put down the timestamp of when I remind you. See if you remembered. You know that won't work. 
comment I love Sonic Simon. So the thought just occurred to me that this would be very nice with honey. So what you're gonna do? Just gonna take a bit of honey. Yeah. We have added some milk as well. I think they can see that. Okay. Cheers, Mum. Right. So what we're gonna do now is take the whisk where I tried to whisk it all together before and failed miserably. But um start whisking it like this. Now just remember, if you're baking anything like this at home, um make sure it I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Signal me, I'm waffling. As you can see, Simon is pouring the mixture into the tray and he'll then proceed to smooth it over with a spoon. Mm. Well, one thing that you might not know about me is I'm absolutely rubbish with spooning things over. I swear down, I didn't do that on purpose. The family can. The kids and animals can enjoy. <laughs> Here comes the point that adds... Here comes the part that adds the crisp. I forgot to you diddle it. This is what I'm going to use it here. Oop. Some bigger chunks there, but... Okay, so to make our perfect concoction, not the concoction, but cake, um, what we've done is we've poured out our digestive biscuits all over there and um, used a spoon, spread some of them out and uh, just poured some more sugar over the top to make it nice and sweet. So what you do now is you stick it in the oven for uh, about 10 minutes to bake. I'm deathly afraid of burning myself though, so what I'm gonna do is get my mother to do it. All right, so, here's for the taste test. Who's having the first bit? Do you want me to go first? Go on, I await your reaction. Well, I think I'm missing the apple that should be under it, but otherwise it's very nice. <laughs> it does seem to me like the top of a nice crumble. Mm -hmm. Now for my taste test, it's my own cake, so I know I like it, but... Mm. Perfect texture on mm. this one, we did this very nicely. And I think it would go very well with ice cream as well. Yeah, I agree. Okay, is that a wrap? This is a wrap. Thank you.